Hello everyone to my channel. Today we're doing a reading for sign of Capricorn and keep in mind that this will not resonate for every Capricorn. If you'd like a personal reading, that's going to be down below in the description where you can find that on my website. You can find a bunch of other things there on that website too and it's free to sign up and join. So go ahead and go check it out. But let's see what we have going on for our Cappies today. What's going on? Okay. What's going on? What's going on for Capricorn? release. There's something here you're releasing out of your life, but you're moving towards your hopes, your goals, your dreams, your wishes. Uh, there's Aquarius. Either you have Aquarius in your birth chart or there could be an Aquarius around you. You're focusing here on your work. Okay. There may have been, there may have been somebody here you got into an argument with and walked away from here. I feel like there could have been an Aquarius. We have Aquarius, we have Scorpio here actually too, but there could have been an Aquarius or a Scorpio here that you may have gotten into an argument with, walked away from, but I feel like either, either you're leaping back towards them or they're leaping back towards you trying to be a part of your life again here. Either way, this is not the last you're seeing of this part. This person's coming in with a lot of communication towards you, Capricorn. They're going to be reaching out to you and they're unsure whether or not you're even going to reach out back to them. Okay. Yeah, this is some, there's somebody here that's trying to be a part of your life again. They're trying, they're, they're wanting, they're wanting you, or they're wanting to be, they're just wanting to be a part of your life again here. They're trying to return here. Temperance is here too. Also potential Sagittarius. But you got Victor. You got Victor in the situation either way. And maybe you're walking away from this person still. King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles, be yourself, whether you're male or female, it does not matter. But I feel like you're focusing here on your career, your business. You know, your money as well. There's See, there's a Seven of Swords, though. I don't like the Seven of Swords. What's the Seven of Swords doing here? Clarify the Seven of Swords. See, you're walking, maybe you're walking away from this person because maybe they're sneaky. Maybe they're manipulative. Maybe they lie a lot here. But either way, you're walking away from this person, Capricorn. Okay. Now, we also have something about business. So I'm actually going to grab my business cards. And no, it's not the business cards you hand out. It's the business tarot cards. Okay. So let's see more for Capricorn. Any advice for Capricorn for business? If you If they have businesses. Automate. It says passive income. Automate. Develop ways to add to your passive income streams to your business so you don't have to work so hard. Earn some income while you sleep. Okay, this is setting up passive income streams, maybe automating things a little bit more. Uh, funnel. All right, this is fun funneling in your clients. Okay, it says leads, prospects, customers, sales. Okay. Create a dynamic customer experience that nurtures prospects to become paying clients. Build a simple sales funnel. Yeah, this is funnel, funneling your leads to become your clients so you make those sales. And I feel like setting up it in, in a way where it's passive income somehow. Capricorn. All right. You're going to figure it out. Right. All right. Copywriting. Copywriting is the art of persuasion. Learn how to craft the words that speak to the heart of your ideal client. So this is learning learning how to advertise that's going to speak to your ideal clients. That's going to funnel them in. Okay. There's somebody here coming in with a gift. There's somebody here with a lot of anxiety. I don't know if that's you or somebody around you. You may be kicking two people out of your life. Yeah, there may be two people on your wheel that you don't want on your wheel anymore. And you may also have new love coming in. There's new love that comes in very suddenly. Very unexpectedly. It's unexpected, but I feel like you kind of know it at the same time. Some of you guys may have a Pisces coming your way, like a new love that's a Pisces here. Okay. It could be somebody that you work with or somebody here that's at your work. Maybe you know they like you. Also potential Virgo here too. All right. But let's go over here to these cards. Let's see more. Let's tell me more for Capricorn about this. You guys are also kind of setting, you're kind of going into hermit mode. You're kind of setting up a wall against people. But I feel like maybe that's because you see the truth of people here. Maybe you see how they really are. Okay. Capricorn. 
moving forward here as the emperor there's so, okay there's somebody here that's really thinking about their past there's somebody here that's stuck on their past almost thinking about their childhood thinking about some childhood pet they used to have but i feel like you're leaping you're leaping for you're taking a leap of faith here into success you're taking a leap of faith here into victory capricorn is what i feel like you're doing like i don't feel like you're the one that's stuck i feel like there's somebody around you that's stuck i feel like you're continuing to move forward you're continuing to move forward as the empress building your empire here but, you know, build, building up your wealth, building up your career, build, building up that retirement, you know, for the future here. And maybe maybe you're studying more. Maybe you're studying more for your career that's going to be helping you in the long run. All right. And maybe you're celebrating all of this is what it feels like. You're right out of spiritual door. Haven't gone through that spiritual door yet. But I feel like you could go outside and meditate. You're going to go through that spiritual door. Okay. There's a king of wands here. There's a Leo. There's a King of Cups here, too. There's a Water Sign, a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. There's also potential Sagittarius here, too. Or we have you connected with your Guardian Angel. We have you connected with your Sun Sign and your Moon Sign. All right. But you're on top of this Wheel of Abundance, Leo. And once again, Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands could be yourself, whether you're male or female, does not matter. But you guys could have an option between two different people. One could be another fire sign like yourself, either either Leo or Sagittarius, and the other one could be a water sign, a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Who you pick, that is going to be up to you. You know, it's your own free will. It's your own decisions here. Okay. Capricorn. Have I meant to say Leo? I meant to say Capricorn. I'm sorry. Maybe some of you guys have Leo in your birth chart for me to be. I'm so sorry. Anyway, this video is meant for Capricorn. Okay. Either way, you, you get the point. You get the idea. It doesn't really matter. There could be a fire sign coming your way and a water sign coming your way. What you do with them, that is going to be up to you. There's a three of swords here, though. I don't like the three of swords. All right, but maybe you're getting a different perspective of some sort of heartbreak you went through or some sort of breakup you went through here. Queen of Cups, maybe a breakup you went through with a water sign, a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Maybe you blocked this person now. Um, this could have been a Scorpio. So you guys could have broke up with Scorpio. I get Scorpio, I get Pisces here. Maybe because you've seen the truth of this person here. Maybe because you, maybe you've seen that they were actually two-timing you or they weren't faithful. They were in and out. They were undecisive, something like that here so i feel like you you kind of like said something to about it i feel like you put your foot down with them and it feels like maybe maybe it led to a breakup you know cancer is also here the zodiac sign overall water whoever this person is i feel like they're trying to pop back up into your life again capricorn but i feel like you're like no let's just leave this alone you know let's just leave it over with let's just leave it done with here they're still trying to hang on to you though still trying to reach out to you still trying to message you I feel like you're like, I, I don't really want to talk to you, you know, star, star is here again, but you're pursuing, see, I feel like you're pursuing your dreams, your hopes, your wishes, and I feel like that's going to be extremely emotionally satisfying for you, but I feel like you're going to be doing something new, and I feel like it's part of what you've been dreaming for, and I also feel like you may have new love coming in, and once again, it may be somebody that you work with here, there's a ten of swords though, I don't like the ten of swords, but you're going to be moving forward here as the empress as somebody here that's abundant once again building your empire also connecting to your venus sign whatever that is for you guys some of you guys may have aquarius venus you could have somebody here coming your way that's aquarius venus once again there's people wanting to return to you we also have a connection with archangel gabriel and you have success and you have victory in this situation okay that's what i feel like for you why is it why is the um what is that the ten of swords why is the ten of swords here though so let's clarify why is the Ten of Swords in Capricorn's reading? It's this Wheel of Fortune, the Knight of Wands, the Three of Cups. There's something that ended, but I feel like you're celebrating the fact that it ended. You're free now. You can do whatever you want now. You're free from something. You freed yourself from something, Capricorn. You're moving on. You freed yourself, you're moving on here, and you're celebrating the fact that you it's done and it's over with. Okay? We have a King of Swords here, too. We have an Air Sign, a Gemini Libra and Aquarius that may be really into you. I'm not really sure if you're really into this person, but they're really into you. They're going to be trying to talk to you a lot, send you a lot. This is somebody here that's rushing your way. Going to be sending you a lot of messages. They're really into you. Okay? 
I feel like this is someone here you kind of turned your back towards, though. But I feel like they may be trying to give you a gift or something. Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles could be yourself. King of Pentacles, once again, it could be yourself, whether male or female, does not matter. But I feel like you're focusing on your career. Not really love at this moment. We have justice. I feel like you're going to have financial justice, financial balance here. And once again, we have a new money opportunity that's coming in for you that's going to lead to you making a lot of money. And you're taking action towards this because you're like, yes, I want this. Okay? So, basically, you have people into you. What you do with them, that's going to be up to you. Your business is growing. Your money's growing. All that stuff is growing here. You're getting what you've been wishing for. You're celebrating. All right? Bunch of good stuff here for you, Capricorn. So that is what I have for you. If you want to see more content for your sign, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Let's go check out even more content on my website, too. All right, so goodbye, guys.